Okay, I may have to do some editing. I'm having a hard time. So that let's give this another try. I'm going to cut this down before I get started so I don't allow it to twist. I'm just going to leave that little ball off and put my bead. And then this big old spacer bead. And then the little spacer bead goes inside the drawer. So this will be on the outside of the drawer. And then this little spacer bead goes on the inside of the drawer. And that way the hole has some support. You're not really pulling on the hole. You're, you have support on the inside and the outside of the drawer. I'll show you. So then you take and you just hold, you want to hold the drawer and, and the eye pin in such a way like that so that you have some pressure because you need to start twisting this down. Well, it's kind of, it's very, see look, now I got it. I'm holding it with my finger back there and just start twisting the wire into a loop until it gets tight and then and then you're good. All right, that worked simply, very simple. It's tight as could be right now. Can you see that? So there's a loop on top of that. Uh, my camera's not focusing. Well, it's focusing on the other thing. There we go, it's coming. All right, so that's very tight right now. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other end, but this time I used uh, a pearl because this is gonna be where the um, hanger goes. So I just like wanted to make it a little more prominent. This one, you have the bead dangle, so I made it littler. So this one's gonna be the same thing with an eye pin, which now I don't have because I had to use my other one. So I'm going to cut this a little shorter just to start with. Um, and I'm going to take, what do I have? I have a bead cap at the top, the pearl, and then the, um, this is called a rondelle. So this will be on the outside of the box this time. And then I just go in the hole and put that little um, spacer bead on the inside of the box to give it something to pull up against. So I'm gonna, again, I'm trying to hold this all on camera and twist as I go, but this should work, all right. So I have a hold of it and just start twisting down towards the box and there we go. I mean, that worked simple, all right. So that is tight now, it's very tight and I have loops on both ends of those little attachments on those drawer pulls, I guess you could call it, all right. So this is going to be the top. Let me zoom back out. Put this back where you can see everything. All right, so this is the top and that's the bottom. Um, 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 um. I might as well put our little tree inside. I decided to just put this tree. These are um, button, they're buttons from Art Minds, and I'm not sure who what store sells these, but it's Michael's, Joann's, AC Moore, one of them, and the, both of these. These are buttons from, um, I just cut the backs off of them. I cut the little loop off the back, and then you can glue them flat. The trees didn't even have loops, so I don't know. I mean, uh, anywho, I'm going to use the blue trees, because I figured that goes with our little design. And I'm going to use... Um, this is Fabri-Tac, and I'm really liking this. It's it comes. The other one I used was Fabri-Fix, and I did not like that. But Fabri-Tac is awesome. You could use glossy accents as well, which uh, you know what? I like this because it's tacky already, and the and the um, uh, glossy accents isn't. It's more slippery. So like this is right away. It's already uh, like got some stickiness to it. So I just know. It's going to work. Make sure we're going the right direction. So this is up and that's down. And I just put this so that it uh, sat right along the bottom. And that is messy. I got glue all over the place. You know, this did not happen when I was making this this morning <laughs> on my own. The sample one. I had none of these issues. It's so funny when I'm on camera. So I just took a Q-tip and just cleaned up that uh, extra glue that I had squished out. All right, and I'm just gonna let that sit in there. It's still squishy, but it dries clear, so it's okay. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna take my Q-tip and do that again. 
So I'll set that aside and we'll go, we're going to go back to our top now. Here it is. Pull that into the shot. Let that dry. This is the original. So what we need to do for this is we're going to put this blue lace on top and bottom. And this is just a really fine blue lace that I have from my stash that I believe comes from Michaels and it's like a bunch of different blue trims and I'm using the Fabri-Tac again and you really need to just a little bit of this it comes out pretty pretty fast and thick so just kind of smudge it along the top edge and here is where you can cover that edge of the box if if your box is showing um, that red it's like red and blue my match boxes so uh, you can just kind of push your trim up to the edge of the lip and you won't even see. I just went right to the edge, push down, and you will not see that now. So that is covered up. You just cover that up. And I just go right to the edge and you have a minute to kind of push it up so that that little edge of the trim is now the top of your box. Push down. I'm going to put a little bit here just to make sure. I mean, I think there's some coming through, but I'll just put it. And it's real sticky and gooey, but I, I tell you what, it works. It really works. So that's that side. Let's do the other side. And I don't need my jewelry stuff here anymore. I'm going to move this out of the way. Need my other little piece of lace. And do the same thing. You know what you could have done actually too. This is going to be on the back. You know what? No. I'm going to just do it exactly the way I did it the first time. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Ooh, that's a lot. That all the, the other thing you can do with this glue is I just go along with my finger and kind of take off the excess because that has a really fat nozzle so it there a lot of glue comes out so I just do that and wipe the excess off with my finger so I'm going to take the top edge of my trim and put it I usually put the front on first and then wrap around to the back but again push right up to the edge of the um, box and just gently wrap it around and it overlaps in the back. That wasn't very even. I didn't kind of do it evenly, but that's okay. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath here. Try to just pull it back away so it doesn't be so gloppy. And that's it. And it dries pretty fast too. That's why I like it. It, it really does. All right, so that's that first step. Now I'm going to, you know what? We're gonna do this, the back real quick too. Because while this is all wet, I might as well just put this on. And I've already cut the ribbon, but you know, you guys would have to decide and see. I've just really enjoyed putting stuff on the front and the back. So I just took some blue satin ribbon and cut it from top to bottom just to kind of cover the um, where everything connects and uh, pat that down on the glue. And see how that kind of is going over a little? I'll trim that with my, I'll use my cutter bee scissors, I guess. See if this does a good job. Just kind of line it up along the edge. And I cut the trim a little, but you know what? It's the back, it's fine. And then I have, these are actually by uh, Mementa, and I love the Mementa brand. These were from, um, I have to go away and come back. Michael sold these, and they have, they had really good corners, like a bunch of different stuff. So these have been sitting in my stash forever. And I just thought, all right, I'm gonna use these today, and it's the perfect thing to do. Put this right in the middle of this. So I'm gonna put uh, some of this glue right on the back of this, all over it, and Touch it with my finger just to get the uh, excess off. And let's see, I'll put it straight like this. 
so that it's uh, straight. And you know what I had on the other one, I put a different um, snowflake and I put a bling in the middle. I put a little star because the other one didn't have, um, see it was just like that. It was kind of like just the center. So this one has that little hole. I kind of like that. I don't know. I'll probably put a bling there too. Alright, so we'll let that dry. And it kind of, as it dries, that Fabri-Tac, you can kind of just like roll it up and get rid of it. So it's not a big deal. I'm going to, um, watch this, guys. Watch me mess up on camera again. Ugh. This is such a, this was from the dollar store too and it's so cheap. I don't want to burn my box, but I just got that fiber. Alright, so that's the back. Now I want to do some trims in the front. Actually, you know what? This is so easy. Like, I don't even really need to... I, I'm, t I'm telling you, this is like not rocket science. Honestly. So I have... I already cut my... Um, of course not. Of course I didn't. And I put the glue on. But I just put... This is flatback pearls. And these... Actually, you can get these at Michael's now, too. And Hobby Lobby. I think I got these... I got these at Michael's, I think. But so I put like six six on each side sticking with the blue and white theme so that and then when you can see them from the front it looks pretty so I'll cut the six off first one two three just put a little glue down that edge this stuff really it really is great I'm telling you I use my hot glue gun quite a bit too, but not for this type of delicate stuff. I think this is nicer because you have time to work with it. Take off the extra if you put extra. So look, there we go. We have that. I'm going to cut these to the size I need too. So this is just another trim. I think it's from Michael's or <clears throat> I had it in pink and a bunch of different colors. But Michael's changed all their stuff, so it kind of bums me out. Um, let's see. I actually just took this from the top to the bottom of the um, lace. So there's one, two, there's seven. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, a nice thin bead. Try to go thin with this because this stuff is very thick. I will use my finger to spread it because I don't need that much. <clears throat> you really don't. And it, luckily it does dry th um, clear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put that down. I just like to go right along the image. You know what? I'm going to get a Q-tip again. I think there's like a glob sitting there. There we go. I think that just came off the bottle. It was on the nozzle like a glob of it. A dried up glob. And there we go. We have that now. You, you really need little trims for this, though, because it it uh, it's so small. All right, and then I have two of these uh, snowflakes, and like I said, these were buttons. So I just used these are like um, <clears throat> I don't know, they're beading tools, and they have a very sharp edge there, and I just cut them off with that. Sometimes you can do it with your tonic scissors, too. So I'm going to um, place these up on my snoof on my, uh, put a little glue on there and kind of place it on the bottom on the top. Just so it'll be flat as best it can. This one actually seems to have a little bit of, um, I'm going to try and cut that a little bit shorter so that it doesn't stick up and it adheres nicely. So I'm just going to show you what I do. I take this and just really, yeah, it's, I think I did it. Oh, no, there, I got a little more. So that's about as flat as it's going to get, I think. See, it's plastic, so... I just 
kind of And that's it guys look at that just you can use your thumb and just push down give it some nice pressure it kind of has those strings like your hot glue gun does and uh, that's it so you know what we'll do we you can put a little star on the top of this but you don't need to it looks pretty just the way it is you're going to add your um, <clears throat> dangle to the bottom that we made. So you just take your jump ring, and I have glue all over me, but that's okay. It's all right. Open up the jump ring. So you have your bead dangle on the bottom. So cute. And then I'm going to use the same ribbon that I did for the uh, other one. I have a big, nice, strong jump ring that I'm going to put on the top. Hopefully my battery is dying, so I'm just hoping to get through this and we'll be done. So I'm going to make this nice and tight and put this in. So that's it, guys. If my battery cuts out, I hope this helped. It's not hard. Just gather up some supplies and start gluing and put your put your paper on I'll put the um I just use ribbon for the top of this it's just easier um I'm gonna sell try and sell these as ornaments at my craft show this November so um I figured I'd try and make a few Christmassy ones all right and then like you can all right, I told you my battery ran out but I got this tied and I just wanted to show you like I definitely uh, like to singe the edges of my ribbon when it uh, that is such a hard so I just singe them a little bit so they don't fray and you know what do we need bling on that should we go ahead and put the bling I have a star I might as well do it I think I'll do it and these have little um, kind of like uh, raised cushion adhesive on there so I'm just going to take that off and use my uh, fabric tack again I actually am going to use my glossy accents because this is not on the fabric it's like metal and plastic so I'll just use um, glossy accents for this and I'll use it to put I'll put a star on top of the tree too but I hope this was helpful I, I had a little bit of a hard time but Honestly, it's never been like that. When I've made these before, I've never had a problem. That was the weirdest thing, how that, uh, um, those eye, eye pins did not want to twist for me. They just, they just didn't want to work. Push that down. Glossy accents takes a little longer to dry, but that looks pretty. I like adding a little bling. I definitely like that. That looks pretty. And you know what? I didn't add any stickles to anything. Um, so don't forget you could do that. Like I, I think I'll add it to her tutu a little bit around the edges. And I think I'm going to put, uh, this is my original. I'm going to put some, um, I'm going to put a star on the uh, top of the tray too. Got to do it. Why not? And I'm going to use a blue star. And this is just all stuff that I've gotten from Michaels over the years from my stash. I'm going to use glossy accents too. All right. So I hope this was uh, not too discombobulated. I'll go have a look. I'll go um, get it on the computer and see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks good. All right. But look, it looks cute. I love putting something inside. So you have a little surprise in there. And you could put a word, you could put, you know, peace, love, joy, believe. All right, and so that's going to take a minute to, um, to dry. My pearl's a little big to go through. There we go. So they're twins. Twin Christmas ornaments, pretty much. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.